What's going on everyone? It's me, Alex the Rambler. Today, we're on Trial of Allegiance, the new DLC for How to Iron 4. And that's it. That's all the that's all the intro we're getting. Please do if you enjoy these videos, comment, like and subscribe. It's very much appreciated and does really help out the channel. But in the meantime, let's go. I mean, Trial of Allegiance is out by the time you see this. You have Brazil, Chile and Argentina to pick from. You also have uh, Paraguay and Uruguay as well and today we're gonna play as Chile the long boy the real long boy and we begin with legacy of the naval arms race the Republican Guard the Republic is in great peril and close to the verge of collapse uh oh we've got near anarchic society oh dearie me the what system of land landlords and tenants stems from the old Roman and Imperial Spanish race of running a country highly outdated and oppressive oh so we need to do some land reform and we've got the Mapuche conflict the indigenous have been displaced, disfavoured, and dissatisfied. Okay, so we need to sort out that as well. Oof. I don't think I've ever actually played as Chile in all of my time in Hearts of Iron. So let's let's give it a go. My leader looks miserable AF. Does he really? Ah, uh, yeah. Eh, a little bit. Looks a little bit miserable. Uh, how many research? Two research slots. Okay, we've got electronic mechanical engineering on the go. Then we'll go ahead and do basic machine tools. Uh, let's start building. We already have 14 factories, which is pretty nice. Only two military factories, though. How many troops in the army? Seven divisions, most of which unequipped. But we've got plenty of uh, generals to play with. Lots of mountaineers, which would make sense. Now, which route do we go down? We've got the route of look to tradition. We've got endorse the constitution of 1925. Or we can denounce the state of near anarchy. Ever since the great crash came from the US closing their borders and ending their exports, our economy has been ruined and our people scattered. Hmm. Yeah, let's do the public work project first before we make any major decisions. Oh, there's going to be a coup, so maybe I actually don't want to do the public work project just yet. I don't really want to do a monarchist playthrough actually. I'm not feeling like that right now. I think we'll do the fascist. Denounce the state of near anarchy. The fact that the anarchy that started after the Wall Street crash has not yet been resolved is a big indicator to the great weakness inherent in the current government and its passive liberal ideals. We must speak public. We must publicly speak out. Okay. We'll get them to rally. Rally to me. To me. Oh. Movimento Nacional Socialista ramp up activities. Could you not? Or do I want that? Is fascism growing? Yes. Is communism growing? Yes. Empower the preparation department. In order for our coup to go as smoothly as possible, we need to not only ensure the support of the general populace, but also have people, plans, and logistics ready for the day that will eventually come. Lovely. Democracy. Oh. Shall we sway Aristo Herrera? Why not? Shall we go for... Oh, is that... Do you pronounce that Jorge? Gonzalez? But yes, I will go ahead and get daily fascism support. We need to become fascist. We've got the Bolivian Socialist Revolution of 19... 36. Well, Bolivia might be our target. Shall we unify the fascist movements? Yes. There are other groups with similar ideas who don't... Yeah, we need to unite. Unify and strengthen. We actually have a decent navy. Uh, one battleship is nothing to scoff at. Let's go ahead and infiltrate the Calibut Neros? A task of protecting the country against any insurgents. Us counted among those. If we go against them, it would be a bloodbath, but we need to gain their loyalty. Very well, we shall. I've only got 31%, but that's going up quickly. We'll do the proliferate national populism, I guess. And I won't be able to stop that. We're at 3% stability. 2%. 1% stability. Ouch. I think we're probably going to go into negative stability. Yeah, there we go. Zero percente. We try and rally the people. Our stability will go down even more. Or I can do the Popular Freedom Alliance. I think we'll do that. The Popular Freedom Alliance. El Salvador will aid us. Oh! Oh, perfecto. Thank you. Japan won't. We've been betrayed. Peru will aid me. Thank you. Venezuela. Dominican. Germany will aid me as well. Oh, wow. They're just giving me all the guns. And ships. And so the tide shifts. Such a long, thin country. Why does Chile exist? Should I pronounce it Chile or Chile? Oh, Brazil enters a state of emergency. Okay. Do we need to worry about that too much? Technically, don't border them. So Anti-communist crusader. I think we'll go ahead and get that. No communism here. Brazil wants non-aggression. And we shall accept. I'll contract the EFE to give me an extra factory. I'm not going to be a greedy civ boy, but we do want to make sure we have enough factories to thrive, you know? We'll rally the people. Rally the people! We are going for the coup, ladies and gentlemen. We are going for the coup. Or support attacking division speed. The pan-Hispanic theorist. Oh, Carlos. You're speaking my language. 
Whoa! Hindenburg disaster. The same time as the... Oh, commence the counter revolution. Our troops stand ready and are eagerly awaiting orders. Ready to occupy every major position in Santiago. As well as city halls in various other cities. Okay. So we've got desert, hills, mountains, 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 mountains. So every tile of ours is mountains apart from this desert. The Atacama. Aha, here we go. Our loyal soldiers have carried out our plans with impunity and have occupied the Palicio de la Mondea, where Atruvio Alessandri and his cabinet are located. They have ordered the president to step down in favour of Jorge González von Marias. I don't know if that's a really bad pronunciation. But we're victorious. We're now vanguard Chile. Shall I ban liberalism? Recruit young officers? Hmm. Maybe ally in the investigations police so we get a bit of an extra bit of stability. Aha, the the fascist coup d'etat in Vanguard Chile, yes. Um, shall we do the action Chilean anti-communista? Yeah, the communists are a, are a great threat to our nation. Not really, but let's pretend that they are. But I'm just wondering, what is going to be our aim here as Chile? Because it's 1938 and can I even do unification through conquest? Hmm, I'll forge a new Chilean identity. Leadership disputes plague the party. Oh, no, he's going to stay. He's going to stay in power and we get extra stability for that. I'll abide by the Francois model, I think. Though the Germans may be a great influence, what our movement truly needs to look at is the ideas of the Mediterranean thinkers such as Mussolini and Franco. <laughs> yeah, let's follow their ideals, why not? Brazil cancelled the non-aggression pact, but now we'll promote pan-Hispanic rhetoric. Yes, we're all individuals, but even so, uh, we are united in spirit and by our blood as Hispanic people. The Hispanic Alliance. Ooh. Or, or cultivate fanaticism or unification through conquest. I do think I need to think about getting some uh, military factories, though, before I start doing that. Expand the mountain regiments. Yes. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Um, at 23.32 yesterday, uh, the earth began to shake strongly underneath Chile, destroying... Oh, oh, Chilean. Destroying more than half the city. Conception was almost was violently hit. Almost all the buildings were completely destroyed. The earthquake is estimated to have a surface wave magnitude of 8.3 and a maximum massalide intensity of X, leaving a death toll of around 28,000. Um, I think I need to help the people. Ouch. That is horrifying. Unification through conquest. Let's try. Let's try and have a bit of war. War. Okay, I think we may have enough divisions to at least try. Should I go and see how Europe is looking just before we begin? Uh, yeah, Europe's going is what we'd expect really, aren't they? And Japan's doing Japan things. For those of you who are about to die, I salute you. They have files without troops, except down here. I forgot about this. Hispanic Supremacy League. Oh, I didn't realize there's a faction on my own. Anyone want to join me? That's two divisions encircled. Nice. I don't think they've got anything in the north. I think we'll try and push down to Buenos Aires. I'm just going to try and keep holding as best we can. Yeah, they've taken the south. Uh, I've taken the north. So they're halfway to capitulation. Okay, we're just going to wait and prepare... Uh, get our divisions all kind of ready for battle once again, and then we're going to sweep down from the north. We've taken their capital though, and now they are very close to capitulation. Oh baby! Witness me as little Chile. Woo! Alright, who are we going for next? Bolivia? Okay, five speed. That, that was actually... I did that slowly and methodically, and by Jove, I think I did it. We must become self-sufficient down here. Yeah. All infrastructure everywhere. Max infrastructure, that's what we're going for. We're going to have the best highways you've ever seen in South America. Okay, Chile, time to take Bolivia. Let's go, let's impose new taxes. Can anyone stop Chile now? Oh, that was easy. Paraguay, maybe you can live. Any fascist nation can join me if they wish to. Uruguay, there we go, captured. Take all the ships, confirm an exit. Now, do I try and take on... Brazil or I'm just gonna ah, screw it can I kick from the faction I think I'm gonna kick them from the faction and conquer them anyway because what are they gonna do for me absolutely nothing okay so once we've wrote the treaty of Lima I'm gonna demand the land of fire oh they just accept my demands okay and escalate the issue demilitarize again I can do bypass bypass that one vanguard Chile will be known as the kingdom of Chile Yes. Yes, it shall. Restore the old kingdom. I'm all about the base, about the base, but chilly though. So I have 3,000 artillery in stockpile. I was doing all of this with no artillery. Oh, that, that kind of stings. Hey, I didn't plan to return to monarchism, okay? It just happened. 
It just happened. I didn't want this to happen. It just did. I am now the Kingdom of Chile. I didn't plan it. It just happened. Ooh, what's this? Get at the spirit of the conquistadors. Uh, yes, please. Now that the old Kingdom of Chile has finally been restored, it's time to truly honor our ancestry and take on the mantle of our first ever royal governor, the conquistador Pedro de Vilvera. De Vida, living de Vida loca. Forward to the unknown. I am just going to click. Okay. Um, they signed a white piece, so that's kind, that's kind of a bit poo. Uh, I wanted them to destroy each other. Meanwhile, I'll just have to sort out. They're, they're, Paraguay is actually holding better than I thought they would. They are doing that at least. So good for them. Oh my god. Could you just die? I'm just thinking what's the best route here. Is it to try and take Brazil now? I feel like it might be. We'll get 19 new divisions. Everything is cored. We're on a million manpower. Like, how many divisions does Brazil have? Oh, between 4 and 19. I'm just going to go in with everything. It would be nice to think about uh, naval invading as well. If I need to, that is. Let's try and get an encirclement of that. Oh, no, they got away. It doesn't look like they have a lot of equipment in their divisions. There we go. Just keep pushing through. We're almost in their industrial center of Sao Paulo. Strictly controlled education. Yep. If the children are to grow up right and thinking in a way that we want them to, we want to make sure their education follows the standards and regulations that we have in place to make them model citizens. We also gain a research slot for that, which would be nice. I'm surprised that I haven't needed... Oh, the mountaineers that I've been trying to get. They don't have the divisions to stop this. Rio stands for now. Although I think I can walk into it. The Finnish continuation war. Uh-huh. Germany breaks the Molotov Ribbentrop. Are they going in, ladies and gents? They're going in. We'll see what happens. And I've just taken Rio. Brazil join the Allies! No! Come on! Let's see if I can finish them off before that happens. Otherwise, this is going to be a failed run. Maybe they won't join. Is it just RNG now? Like, am I just am I just reloading it just for it to fail again? Because this really sucks. Has anyone else had this? <laughs> where the ally, where Brazil joins the allies, and then you just get dogpiled on. I don't know what to do now. Do I just give up? Well. This could be a failed run for it. I'm still going to try and capitulate Brazil, just, just so I can tell them to kind of F off. Oh, the British had actually landed troops in here already. Oh my god. But I think with our final conquest of Brazil, that's where I'm going to have to leave it for the Kingdom of Chile playthrough. If you enjoyed watching Chile go from a sliver into a slaughterhouse of a nation, make sure to comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll be back with more very soon. Uh, but I don't have it in me to go up against the Allies, I don't think. Not against the whole world. So until next time, everyone. I bid you a good day. Ta-da! Many thanks to Duff Bowl, Jack Troku, Chancellor64, Haigu, Logan Whaley, Salty Badger, and Wyatt Green for being cult leaders and champions of the Patreon. And many thanks to all the other patrons, Twitch subscribers, and YouTube members too. Thank you.